Life Audio. A Prayer to Keep Hope Alive by Christine Brown, read by Leah Martin. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear Him, on those whose hope is in His unfailing love, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. Psalm 33, 18-19 It was my son's fourth birthday. We'd gathered with family and friends at the local pizza place to celebrate. After indulging in more pizza and cake than I'd like to admit, we said our goodbyes and loaded our sleepy preschooler into the car as he gripped his favorite souvenir from the day, a helium-filled birthday balloon. Late into the evening, our son watched that balloon float effortlessly over the kitchen table. He loved it so much. Then, without warning, he began praying out loud, Dear God, please help my balloon to stay alive forever. Against all odds, our son held on to hope. As you can imagine, my mom instincts took over. I didn't want my sweet boy to be disappointed when the inevitable happened. I dreaded the day he woke up to find the shriveled balloon laying in a pile of curly string on the ground, but I didn't know what to say, so I decided to trust God with this life lesson instead of discouraging my boy's simple prayer. Psalm 33, 18-19 offers the same kind of hope our son displayed when he prayed that day. I love how the psalmist emphasized our need for hope, even in times of famine. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear Him, on those whose hope is in His unfailing love, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. In these verses, famine refers to times when God's people literally lacked what they needed to survive. But we can also experience spiritual and emotional famine when our hearts are parched because of our circumstances. In those difficult times, God is our only hope. And because of His unfailing love, we can keep our hope alive through our hardest days. After many days, my son's prized balloon did eventually sink, one inch at a time. Instead of dreading its demise, I smiled each morning that he woke up and found it still floating. It lasted much longer than I expected, and that was more than enough for our hope-filled boy with his helium-filled balloon. Let's pray this prayer to fill our hearts with hope today. Dear Heavenly Father, sometimes I struggle to keep hope alive in my life when circumstances appear hopeless. Forgive me for letting my faith wane because of what I see happening all around me. I know you're the answer when I need to be refilled with hope. The words of Psalm 33:22 are my prayer today. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. You are my portion when I'm spiritually, emotionally, or physically weary. I choose hope, and with that choice, I know your love surrounds me. Praise you, Lord, for your unfailing love in my life. I know whatever difficulties I face, I can always count on this truth. You will never stop loving me, and you will never leave me to face challenges alone. Thank you for the hope I have in eternal life because of you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.